Hi there everyone. This is my coming out video. This video is about my story, my journey, and how it may be closely related to your own. People always ask me, when did you know? Or what was your catalyst? Well, I'd like to share that with you and provoke you into figuring out what maybe your own catalyst is. So I'm excited to dive into this. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, please consider subscribing. And beside the subscribe button, you'll notice the little notification bell. If you hit that bell, it'll let you know every time I post a new video. My story starts like many other people. I was a kid and I grew up in an inner city community uh, in a lower middle class apartment co building complex. There was always lots of kids to play with and we were fairly safe playing out in the playground and I was just allowed to be a kid. I was clever and straightforward and honest. I wasn't a daydreamer, but I was a believer. It seemed as though I was one of those people who was able to tap into and see and know and hear and experience things that other people around me didn't always sense. So fast forward a couple of years, go through high school and graduated. I spent a couple of years as a professional CFL football cheerleader, did three years of university, never graduated from there. And then I started into work slash career. And within a few years, I was married and a few years after that, um, started having kids. During all of this time though, I was always that person. You know when you have that friend that always seems to know things, always seems to be able to feel things and give you some extra insight on maybe what's going on? Well, I was that friend. I had people coming to me all the time, ask me, Carol, what do you see in that? Carol, what do you think about that? Carol, what would you do in this situation? And it was like they realized that I had this inner knowing. And to me, it felt like a gut feeling. And of all of these inner knowings that I had as a child, that was the one thing that I never let go of. And I realized that every time I followed that gut feeling, it never, never led me astray. All the other inner stuff at the gut level, I knew things were trying to show themselves to me. I knew that there was things that I was supposed to hear or know that I just kind of pushed aside. I pushed down, I pushed away, and I never really gave it a second thought. And I'm curious if you've ever experienced that. Of all the sensations that you might have had as a kid, how many of those have you carried with you? How many of those are still with you? And do you still follow your gut feelings? I'd really be curious if you could share some information with me in the comments section below. I think that would be really great. So the culmination of my reawakening, and I do call it a reawakening or a remembering, actually occurred in 2007. So for months and months and months, I knew that my gut was trying to tell me something. I knew that there was something that I needed to see, I needed to hear, I needed to feel, I needed to experience, but I didn't know what it was. And at that point in time, I was so disassociated with this ability to tap into my own innate knowledge that it didn't matter how hard I tried, I was not able to fully understand the message in those feelings until that night. That night in 2007, I was fully and completely asleep in my bed. And I woke up. It was like it was my body. It was me. But I wasn't in control. I was seeing through my own eyes, hearing through my own ears. 
I could feel the carpet on my feet as I walked through the hallway, but I wasn't in control. Now, I remembered enough about the seeing, sensing, hearing, feeling, all knowing I knew when I was a kid that I wasn't afraid, but I was curious. So in the middle of the night, I woke up in my bed, I pulled the sheets off, and I got up. Now, if any of you actually know me, you know me as one of those people that I wake up, I close my eyes, I bring my covers back over my head, and I roll over and I try and, and keep out the entire world. So for me to actually wake up, throw the sheets off, sit up, get up, walk through the hall, and walk down the stairs, it's completely out of character for me. Completely. I will bargain with the devil to give me 10 more minutes of sleep or for my bladder to leave me alone in the middle of the night, right? I'm that person. I'm that person. This person that I was experiencing that night was an experience for me. It was me seeing me through me. That night, that experience reawoken in me all those innate and latent gifts that we have. Those gifts that doesn't matter if you haven't experienced them for 50 years. They're there because they are your gifts. They are the way you function and they are innate and latent in all of us. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to be that way shower, to be that light finder, to help you figure out what is still in you, how to pull it out, and how to use it for your biggest and best purposes. That's what I'm here for. That's my gift to you. That's what I'm here to way show to you. That night was my lesson. That night was to show me not to be afraid. That night showed me how our innate and latent skills work. And from that night forward, I've been studying and experimenting with the mind and the eyes of curiosity to see how that works. And then to be able to understand how I can instruct you on opening all that for yourself as well. So many of you have shared with me how this lifetime feels like a remembering. We come into this world prepared for everything and then that moment of birth we forget almost everything. So as you come into this work, as you come into this understanding, as you come into this inner world, it is, was, and always has been a remembering. And right now, I'd like you to share in the comments below if you've ever experienced moments of this remembering. So this has led me here today to this Amanika Spiritual Center where we can offer unique combinations of this kind of work. In the mind, we can do the change work to create the new neural pathways, the new way of learning, and the new ways of thinking. All you have to do is be ready and willing to experience everything in a new way. If you're ready, welcome aboard. If you want a quick way to start to learn to open up these new neural pathways, I invite you to a 30 minute clarity call with me. I invite you to 30 minutes of one on one with me where we can develop insights and help you. Help you to access those latent 
innate things in you. Help you to understand and from this day forward, it is my job to teach you how to listen, to teach you how to understand, to teach you how to comprehend. And the best thing about this clarity call is free. There's no obligation. I'll put the link below where you can even go in and you can pick your own time. <laughs> I've made it really, really, really easy for you. And I'll put that link in the description box below. So I would like to take a moment and just thank you from the bottom of my heart for choosing to take this time out of your day to spend a few minutes with me. I'm so grateful and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See you next time.